Hello everyone, today we are back with another review of the August BTO launch. Calling out to all the Easties out there, today we're going to dive into the Tempani side. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, so let me briefly walk you through the details of this August launch. So there's a total of 4,960 units in 7 drawn sites spread across 6 locations. So this includes Amokyo, Chua Chukang, Woodlands, Jurong East, Tampanese and 2 in Bukit Merah. We've covered most of them in our previous videos so do check them out. This BTO is located in a mature estate along Tampanese Street 41 of Tampanese Avenue 9. Or to be more specific, it's just right behind Gongshang Primary School. And just by looking at the site plan right now, you can immediately tell that this BTO site is in between two MRT stations, but we will discuss that later on in the video. So this is the smallest project in this launch with a total of 260 units offering 4 and 5 room flats. Since HDB has yet to release the details, we can only decipher the best tech placements based on our own findings. In my opinion, the best tech is South Facing Stack. Though you'll be opposite Gongsham Primary, you are still separated by the main drop-off area of the school. If you choose the unit either north or east facing, your view will be of the neighbouring blocks. Nevertheless, you'll be separated by a road so you don't have to worry about directly looking into your neighbour's house. Also, for those of you who are staying at the east side of this development, you will have a view of the retro wall art from the opposite HDB block. Moving on to pricing, I'm sure you guys are really curious about this, right? So based on past resale transactions and launch prices, our team has crunched the numbers to come up with estimated price point. So the indicative price range for a 4-room unit here is from 390000 to 490000 while a 5-room will go from 530000 to 650000 So compared to the other mature estates in this same launch, it is more affordable as opposed to projects in Bukit Mira or Amokyo. Okay, so that's all for our site analysis for this Tampanese BTO project based on the information we got from HDB. Join me as I explore around Tampanese and see what's the potential for this area. Let's go! Okay, so here we are at Tampanese. So before we move on to explore what's around the area, let's talk about connectivity first. So as I mentioned earlier, this BTO is located in the middle of two MRT stations, which are Tampanese MRT and Tampanese East MRT. So to find out which station is closer to the plot, we did a little walk and realised that Tampanis East MRT is slightly closer by foot, around an 8 minutes walk. Whereas, to get to Tampanese Central, it'll take you around a 15 minutes walk. So both of these stations are located along the downtown line, but Tampanis MRT is also an interchange for the east-west line as well. Since we are much closer to Tampanese East MRT Station, let's use that as a marker. So living here means you are only 3 stops away to Changi Airport with one transfer at Expo, which is pretty incredible since the borders are opening up. And in the future, you'll also get connectivity to the Thomson East Coast Line via Sungai Bedo, which is slated to be ready by 2025. If you prefer commuting via buses, walk 5 minutes and you'll get to the nearest bus stop from the plot. So there are a few bus services here that will take you to Pasir Ris, Changi, Serangoon, Kalang and even Topayo. For drivers, it'll take you 7 minutes to get to TPE. And from there, you can access PIE, SLE and CTE. Another alternative route is via Tampanese Avenue 10 where you can connect to the Bartley flyover. Okay, so that sums up the connectivity part. One of the perks of staying in Tampanese is the proximity to four shopping malls which are practically side by side. Just a 15 minutes walk from your BTO plot, you'll get to this cluster of retail haven which includes Tampanese Mall, Tampanese One, Century Square and our Tampanese Hub. As you can see right behind me, the MRT station is in between Tampanese One and Tampanese Mall which gives visitors and residents seamless connectivity and a lifted shopping experience. 
Okay, let's talk more about the newest baby in the area, which is our Tampanese Hub, which is where I'm at right now. So this was formerly the Tampanese Stadium, and what really caught my attention is actually the three principles that this development offers, which includes resident centricity, optimization of resources and infrastructure, as well as encouraging community ownership through resident engagement. That shows how much they really want the resident of Tampines to really connect and enjoy. There are also so many amenities here, which includes rooftop swimming pools, the largest kids' playground in Tampines, as well as the famous Clip and Climb, which is an indoor rock climbing theme park. There's also the sports and recreation halls with four tennis courts, two futsal courts, and one hockey court, on top of all the retail and FMB outlets. So, how amazing are all these? For all you foodies who don't mind travelling a little more, there's the Tampines N4 Neighbourhood Centre, which is around a 10 to 15 minutes walk to more coffee shops, as well as your Heartland Neighbourhood Shops. Alternatively, you can travel down to Tampines N2 Neighbourhood Centre, which is four bus stops away. And I think this is where most Easties are probably familiar with. This place houses Saffron's and Alasa Eating House, which are the go-to restaurants. And in fact, I've never actually seen this place empty, especially at night. So this is definitely a great supper spot for all you night owls. Next up is healthcare. I think it's really important to have this within close proximity to your home. So the nearest polyclinic is around a 6 minutes walk away and the nearest hospital is Changi General Hospital and St Andrews Mission Hospital which is around a 7 minutes drive. Also, if you take a look at the site plan right now, just right beside the plot, there's going to be a health and medical care facility that is going to be built. So technically, you'll have this accessibility right outside your doorstep. If you prefer exercising at a park and want to experience nature in all its glory, there's Tampanese Eco Green which are great for hikers and nature lovers. Linked via park connectors from the Tampanese Biking Trail and the Sun Plaza Park, Tampanese Eco Green is a sanctuary for freshwater wetlands and rainforests. Though this is definitely much smaller than your McRitchie Reservoir, this is your best bet if you want something closer to home. And I'm pretty sure that hikers will still love and appreciate what this park has to offer. I reckon that this BTO project will be great for parents. Apart from them offering bigger units like 4 and 5 room HDBs, there are plenty of primary schools within 1km radius. So this includes Gongshan Primary School, Tampanese North Primary, as well as Chongcheng Primary. For parents with younger kids, fret not because there are plenty of childcare centres within walking distance from the site as well. Okay, so that's it for our exploration today. Hope this has been insightful for you in your BTO journey. So if you want to stay in this area but want to skip the waiting time, there are resale options for you in the description box below. Thank you so much guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about this BTO launch, feel free to comment down below and we'll help you out. Okay, let's go down the slide. <laughs> See you next week. Bye!